Hey guys, how's it going? Today we will be watching an SL mirror match apparently. On this side we have Baxter23, which is a uh, rank 26 rare and 48 exotic league for team. And we have the Ravager, rank 45 limit league. And in team he's rank 20 rarely. So off to a good start. Ravager took out his Seaslick Wilder. Wilder, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. What will Baxter take out? What will he take out? Oh, and a destroyer. Oh, sorry, not destroyer. Demolisher. I always get confused be between those two. They look, they look kind of like the same, don't they? Except this one's red and has the skull mask. Yeah, I think it says somewhere in the description, an upgrade to the destroyer. <laughs> like I said, it's pretty much a mirror match. We've got two Seaslick Alchemists. Ultra mists moving in. This looks like an exciting match so far. And will he pop? Nope, didn't even use a firebomb or acid bomb. Ravager will most probably use an acid to fire and then move in on the front. And my vote's on acid. But I don't know, we'll see. And he just took out a Seaslick Bolter. Seaslick. Skizik. I can't pronounce that, no. Skizik. Skis it, yeah, I think it's pronounced skis it. Nope, he did not use anything. Maybe Baxter will use something. Doesn't look like it, no. Oh, and we got a Vindrix. Or Vindrak, I guess. W whatever, I'm calling it Vindrix. I'm used to calling it that, so. It's pretty much buffed now after the recent update. It's got tough. Well, it had that before. Regenerate 6. Most SL units have that. It's normal. Acid Breath had that before. Resistance to physical is really annoying. I also had that before. 3 defense, that's pretty. Well, come on, that's not fair. Resistance to physical and 3 defense? That just. That's just cheating in a way. And the Ravager took out Seizik General. General has Enrage. Surge Seizik. He's on 15 damage so far, plus 5. And he imbues his Seizik poster. Oh, stuns with 15. He's moving in the general. Looking good. Oh, he also has Seizik Warp. Seiz. Skizik. Skizik. Sounds Russian. Skizik. <laughs> War Cry, yes. That's just, doesn't that just sound Russian? Skizik. I will not make a Russian joke about it. Because I'm sure you guys want to hear an, a Russian accent. And pretty much same exact move. Imbune the demolisher and the demolisher stuns him. Okay, he doesn't stun him. But he knocks the wilder all the way back to the avatar. And he acids acid breaths.
this like I said this is a mirror match so so far except honestly Baxter has better runes out at Demolisher and Vindrix and pretty much same runes but yeah Uh, Baxter left his unit open for flanking from the bolter. Yeah, this ruin can get flanked pretty much. If you guys do not know, flanking is when if an enemy opponent is engaged to one of your ruins that isn't the ruin of the ability flanking. Well, pretty much just read it. Whenever this champion makes a basic attack, it has 5 plus damage for that attack if the target is engaged to another champion. Pretty much. So the Ravager has 2 flanking shots. That's plus 5 damage on both shots. He won't be able to kill him either, but maybe with a pummel and the basic attack. And that's why Baxter is only rank 26 Rare League. I don't know. For me, it would be a stupid mistake, but maybe I'm wrong. And he seems to have equipped a Dragon God Staff on his Alchemy or Alchemist. And he acids the Demolisher, the Demolisher. What's he got out now? He's Lick Drummer. Cizik. God, I just cannot get used to pronouncing that. Okay, that's just awesome. But why did he move back still? He gave him. Oh, 1 to 2 range. That's nice. And another flank. Well, that's why the Ravager, the Ravager, is ranked 45 in the league. Cause he's the pro, and Baxter just, well, he left his rune open for two flanking chances, and the Ravager took advantage of one. But he still has to handle Vindrix, which can pretty much move here and screw him. Yep, he just moved there. Execute and finish him off. He didn't really need to execute. He had 17 damage. That's pretty much enough, even with the SL bonus. Oh, and a Basilic Templar. That's a good rune. I remember. I remember when it first came out. It was pretty popular. It's still pretty popular, I guess. Ooh. Going with the firebomb on the Vindrix. And attacking. He's not getting much damage out on it. He's just not gonna take it out that easily. And even worse, as soon as he finishes the Vindrix, he's got the Basilic Templar coming in. And the Basilic Templar is immune to magic, means. No, he's not crap, he attacks fire. He will be crap for the Basic Templar. He will be crap. He can hit him. He can. So pretty much 50% of of uh, the Ravager's units on the court or on the board can touch the Basilic. And he poison clouds him. Good move by Baxter. He's waiting his uh, Templar back there. I don't know. I think he's trying to clear out all of the not the non magic runes first, and then he's gonna send in the Baxter to finish it off. Moving in the drummer, and he's probably gonna block. Pretty basic tactic. 
He's generating AP for all his units and keeping the drummer to occupy the Vindrix. And the drummer will not be hurt because of the block. Pretty basic tactic. The boat works just fine. And he did he just quicken? He quickened. Uh, let me find that for you guys if you don't know what quicken is. I hate these tiny combat logs. Where is quicken? Basically, quicken lets you hit your first basic attack on every champion you own hits double on that turn so it's a pretty awesome spell and that's it see you guys next time i hope you enjoyed